Morning, YouTubies. How's it going? All right, this morning I have, oh, excuse me, hiccup for one. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, I have a Starbucks caramel frappuccino. Can we say yum? Yum! <sighs> and I have a French silk, well, doesn't look very silky. <laughs> I bought um, a French silk cheesecake from the deli department. Not deli. Uh, bakery department at Walmart. And yeah, it's just plain silk cheesecake. But they're so good. Even by themselves. But I decided to do something a little bit different. And I topped it with pecans. And then I topped it with some caramel syrup. It doesn't look very pretty. I... My plan was... I had my little... Pie scooper thingy. Last night. I thought I'd... You know... Like when you cut a pie. You cut it in triangle. That's what I was planning on doing, is cutting a little triangle, putting it in here, and then today, you know, scooping it out with my little, whatever it is, little pie scoopy thing, thinking I'd actually, you know, have it, be able to put it on the plate so pretty and everything. No! No! Not at all. Silk, what, French silk cheesecake does not come out of the container pretty. Just put it that way. It just comes out any old which way. It looks like you just dumped it out, which actually I did out of the bowl because I couldn't get it out any other way. So I couldn't have it pretty. <sighs> it's not like a pie where it's like a little more firm where you can put your scooby thing down in there and you know scoop it out and put it on the plate and put your whipped cream on cream on top and all that kind of stuff i didn't put any whipped cream on this but you know what i mean so yeah oh it came out as a like a dump cake or dump cheesecake but anyway it'll still taste good hopefully so I've never tried it like this, so I hope that this is good. <laughs> Mom has some pecans. I had some caramel syrup. So I thought, wham, bam. Oh my gosh. Y'all, that is good stuff. Good stuff, Maynard. Mmm. Mmm. This was actually a good idea. It took an ordinary cheesecake, which actually the French silk are not ordinary cheesecakes. They're good, like I said. But put a little bit of toppings of whatever your choice on it, and it just kind of amplifies it. It's like, oh. Mm. That is good. Probably not good for my sugar or blood sugar, but not like I'm eating tons of it. Mm. That is yummy. It's cold today. Mother Nature not being nice. It's not real bad, but it's cold. I have no idea what it is. Probably like 50s, 60s. Probably 50s. Hmm. It is. <clears throat> Temperature not so. <clears throat> Hold on. 
Good Lord. Temperature isn't showing on the phone right now. Mm. Oh my. Okay. I gotta try this. I don't remember if I have the to have had the caramel before or not. I actually don't remember. <laughs> I've had mocha. I've had vanilla. I've had pumpkin. But I don't think I've had the caramel. So, we are going to have it today. Where are my neat sleeves today? Miss cold that and cover up my owies. If I ever get over doing the skin picking crap. The battle. Mmm. That's good. Mm. That is yummy. I really like the pumpkin flavor that we had here last week, I think it was. Also, that was that was good. Uh How are you guys doing? I don't remember if I asked that or not. If not, hope y'all are doing good. Hope you're keeping warmer than I am right now. I'm going to have to put a jacket on soon. Hmm. I need to dig out my long sleeve t-shirts and my sweatshirts and hoodies but they're in the closet and I gotta move stuff to get into the closet because I've <sighs> being the squirrel that I am I'm when trying to clean <clears throat> or like going in circles of trying to get stuff done and I accomplish nothing I move stuff in front of the closet door so now I, I this morning I didn't have time to move stuff quickly to get into the closet to get something warmer. So I got to work on that later today. I really admire, I'm not even joking about this. I really seriously admire any of you guys that are good at being organized. I struggle with it like immensely. I always have, but it's like I'm getting worse. I go in circles all the freaking time. And accomplish nothing. Or if I do accomplish anything, because of my health issues, you know, the chronic fatigue and all, and back pain, I barely get started. And then I have to stop for like a half hour or a couple hours, whatever level of wore out I am from trying to get stuff done. I have to take a nap or at least rest. So, like, ugh. I really hate having chronic fatigue. I Chronic fatigue has had its pluses in some ways because I've learned to enjoy the slower side of life but it sucks because I can't get anything done I said I barely get started on anything and it's time to either sit down or lay down or take a nap In my bedroom, I need a, a maid or a cleaning crew. 
actually it's not that bad it's mostly clothes mostly t-shirts which hang on anything i was talking talk about that the other night we got so many old shirts old t-shirts i'm part of them i'm gonna actually recycle to use them for um crafts and then others because they're stained and whatnot got moth holes in them and stuff like that they're either going to be burned or thrown away because we just got too many of them i can't keep them all <laughs> i don't know why i keep them all as it is we got, we got two packages of brand new shirts and I'm needing it. I'm wanting to get some here soon, probably next month. Start ordering some more girly um, sweaters and stuff like that. Break away from wearing all of his t-shirts all the time. It, I've gotten that habit of wearing all of his t-shirts. Him and I both wear it, his t-shirts because they're they're comfy. They're inexpensive so but I'm wanting to do better so even just get a few of them here and there um better sweaters and stuff like that uh. excuse me sorry about that so yeah the room is not really it's messy. It's cluttered. It's not food and stuff like that. It's just cluttered because of the amount of clothes and particularly t-shirts. <laughs> I don't know why I hoard clothes. I used to hoard all kinds of stuff worse than what I do now. And slowly over time, I've curbed that habit back. I inherited it from my grandmother and my mom. Like, can you all give me something else to inherit that'd be better than hoarding stuff that I don't need? So I'm trying to do better. Mom and my grandmother, my mom's mom, were really bad. Or, well, mom is, mom it still is actually really bad. So, I'm not quite as bad as that. I've actually done, I've actually improved a lot over the years on getting rid of stuff that I don't need. I just need to do better <laughs> on some areas. Clothing in particular. I need to, if I'm going to hoard some, something, I need to, if I'm going to hoard clothing, I need to hoard better looking clothing. Just say, you know, then t-shirts, plain t-shirts. Why? <laughs> Why do I do this stuff? I don't know. Hmm. Sweet. I don't know if I get this finished or not. That's sweet. Cheesecake is sweet itself, and then adding the caramel sauce to it. I didn't even eat. Didn't even add that much caramel sauce. Mm. Yeah. I think I just dripped. I don't know where the drip went. Uh. It almost looked like it could rain. It was raining yesterday. You could actually see, even off of the distance, you could see the, the rain clouds um, doing their little
like to call it. Like where they fray downward. I, I, like I said, I don't know what to call it. I'm not a weather person. But we actually seen a rainbow yesterday. I wish I could have got a picture of it, but we was uh, come back from Columbia and was it yesterday? The other day. The other day. I was coming back from Columbia, Missouri, and we seen a rainbow. <sighs> The part, partly is because we were moving on the road, of course, and to me, trees and hills and everything else in the way, and I couldn't get a good picture of it, so, it's like, eh. Excuse me. Anthony surprised me. Actually, he shocked me. After his dialysis appointment, um on Tuesday he got the br well actually he'd been planning this for a while I guess he got the bright idea that he wanted to go to Columbia Missouri which from home is almost two hours away to go over to Red Lobster for the all-you-can-eat shrimp fest or what you call it so that was really good and a surprise so like wow so we we don't normally splurge like that. We haven't been to Red Lobster in, pfft, gosh, I don't even know how many years. Especially since where we live, there's n not one close by. I mean, the nearest one is almost two hours away. <clears throat> so, but he wanted shrimp, so we went all that way, so... And then, of course, because of both of our health issues, we crashed big time yesterday. Well, actually, the other night after we got home, we got home probably about 5. And by 5.30, we were in bed, already asleep. We both slept all night and all into the next day until, like, I think it was like around 6 p.m. the next day. So, yeah, we crashed big time. It wore us out so bad. But it was worth it. It was nice to have a, a date day. We, we have them quite often, but that was a more special one. So, like, oh. I wish I could have got a video, but of course they had music and everything and that. And I'm not comfortable usually doing videoing in um, public. I don't know why. I wish I could get over that. I'm not going to be able to finish this. This is like sweet. It's good though. Between the cheesecake and the Caramel um, frappe. Ooh. Mm. All right. So, anywho, if y'all new to our channel, hold on here. Let me get my mouth and brain reset <sighs> if y'all new to our channel welcome for one thing uh if you're new to our channel don't forget to like comment subscribe share and hit the notification bell and let me know if you've actually tried the silk cheesecakes from the walmart bakery i keep wanting to say deli i always want to say deli for some reason so that's where I paused for half a second there. I guess I keep wanting to say deli. Bakery. 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 Okay. I'm crazy. I, I'll admit it. <laughs> but, um, but no. Let me know if you've actually tried the French silk cheesecakes. They are good. 
good stuff. I like cheesecake in general, but they're, um, let's put it this way. Because of how they don't come out of the little bowl very well. They're almost, they're not firm like an actual regular cheesecake. They, they're almost like a cheesecake mixed with whipped cream in the bowl to make a silky, silky smooth. So that's how they're made. And it does not come out of the bowl very well. Or, yeah, the little bowl. It comes in a little bowl about yay big, about yay deep. So, they are usually in the, where you get the pastry cakes and all that kind of stuff. The, they have like a little, well, at least ours, our Walmart does, has like a little, um, shelf area over to the side it has cheesecakes and cakes and then off to the side of it has the frozen cakes so if that helped you but yeah let me know if you've tried them and or if you're going to try them because i'm pretty sure you'll like them if you try them so